Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Tuber. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at the Mares Hydro Flat Torpedo Buoy. So this is a permanent surface marker buoy. Um, you sort of inflate it at the beginning and then you tow it along. It's that um, uh, sort of refuge buoy that you can have inflated on the surface. You can attach all of your gear. It's mainly designed for spear fishing and free diving apnea. So you can have things attached onto it. You can clip things off onto it um, that you don't need Need when you're actually down under the water on a dive but when you're back at the surface you can still have it attached onto you um this is it fully inflated it has a protective outer shell so if you've got a kind of a rough entry you uh, you don't have to worry too much about damaging it it's got this external shell and then an internal bladder um, to protect it and keep it inflated decent sized flag as well so you're really going to stand out in the water let's take a closer look Okay, so this is how it arrives, uh, all in a plastic bag, and um, the, all the information I'll show you in a second, uh, kind of sealed down at the bottom, and then you get a little cardboard sleeve that has the, uh, the rest of their range, and, uh, and just the, the barcode on the back. And yeah, all sorts of bits and bobs. You get the flag, you get um, plenty of this uh, sort of pretty traditional line and, uh, and then the buoy itself. Um, so I'll go over it quickly and then I'll inflate it just so you can see the difference between it deflated, sort of packed up and then when it's fully assembled and uh, inflated. So starting at this end, uh, you do have a, a metal D-ring on a, on a short line and, um, and an extra sort of loop of webbing so you can clip things off onto that. Everything about this is made to be as sort of flexible as possible so that you can use it however you need to. Um, and on the top, we have this bungee loop section that you can adjust for as the length so you can load things up underneath that and the mesh sort of holds it in position and it can sort of bend and stretch this is all elasticated so if you've got something big or bulky you can load it up underneath that and, uh, and it's going to hold it in position two plastic d-rings on the side uh, and then two more plastic d-rings on uh, on that side across you might be able to see the uh, sort of texture of this material. It's that like PVC coated tarpaulin material. So it feels very strong and robust. So if it's kind of bumping up against rocks and stuff, I wouldn't worry too much about it. It's got this sort of external armor to, uh, to protect it. One point to, uh, to inflate it on the, uh, on the top so you can inflate that uh, orally. Uh, you get a zippered pocket. And that's a, uh, a, sort of a separate pouch that has that internal bladder. It's the same color, so it's hard to tell. Uh, but if I just pull that through, you actually have the, uh, the inflator nozzle. So you can remove that if you need to. So you have that separate external shell and then this separate internal bladder. If you need to repair any punctures or anything, then it just makes life a little bit easier. Uh, and if you really wanted to, I suppose you could store some stuff uh, sort of inside of that. This section here is going to be for your flag. So you have the Velcro and then this uh, sort of plant, uh, I don't know what you'd call that, just pops into that and Velcro's down. So that's a very solid base for your flag just to uh, sort of stick up so it's always pointing uh, sort of proud of the water. Just going to remove that so I can flip it over. <clears throat> and then on the underside, you have another metal D-ring on, the, uh, on the, the back side of it, as it were, uh, similar to the front. So you have a separate webbing loop again, so you can clip things off onto that. Velcro loops, two of them, uh, so that, and they marry up with the, the front and the back. So this is for spear fishing. If you've got separate spear guns for different occasions, uh, you can load them up uh, in there. Plenty of plastic D-ring attachment points, six of those all at the bottom. You've got a webbing carry handle, just a grab handle to carry it to and from the water. Uh, and then this lower pocket here, which I honestly don't really know what that's for. Hopefully someone can illuminate down in the, um, uh, in the comments below. It's open one end, but it's stitched on the three other um, sort of sides. So whatever goes in there, is likely to uh, to come out so I wouldn't be loading it up with any kind of lead to hold it up uh, in the right position it just seems a little bit um, sort of open for that so I'm not really sure what that's for um, 
But moving up to uh, to this section, you've also got a little section of uh, sort of bungee loops, uh, two of those, and again, they're gonna marry up with the backhand side as well. So if you've got smaller things, I imagine these are gonna be for your uh, sort of separate spears. You can load them up and uh, sort of keep them all nice and straight along the buoy. Okay, so I'm gonna inflate it. I'm gonna pop the flag up so you can see what it looks like when it's fully inflated. So here it is, fully inflated, decent size, nice bright orange. Uh, as you can see, you've got the uh, the little flag. Um, one thing that I'll note, it's quite a stiff inflate. It tests your lungs um, to uh, sort of do it orally, but it can be done. Um, just make sure you don't uh, sort of wind yourself. But yeah, decent size when it's inflated. It's, um, it is a little flat as the uh, the name suggests hydro flat it's wider than it is tall um, but yeah you do have this separate flag this is on like a fiberglass pole so that does have to uh, sort of push into this section here uh, I did find if you use a bit of silicone grease it's a little bit easier uh, but maybe over time because this one's brand new straight out of the bag um, it was quite snug to get it in but yeah maybe over time it might get uh, a little bit easier if not silicone grease um, but otherwise yeah decent size so uh, it's going to help you be seen and a decent amount of buoyancy so even if you're clipping all sorts of stuff onto it uh, it's going to stay inflated and that's the Mara's Hydro Flat Surface Marker Boy. Decent size, decent amount of uh, sort of buoyancy in that. Plenty of attachment points all over it. So no matter what you need, uh, you can stow it on top of this and, uh, and keep it with you in the water. For more information, there's going to be a link down in the description below. Click on that and we'll head over to simplyscuba.com where you can read all about it and buy it from us at Simply Scuba. Thank you for watching and of course, safe diving. Thank you.